Mtazamaji sijui kama haya yamekukuta wewe kwa hivi sasa kwani kwa siku ya pili sasa wa Kenya umeendelea kulalamikia usajili wao kwenye vyama vya kisiasa bila idhini zao. Na baadhi ya wa Kenya wamejipata wakiwa wamesajiliwa kwenye vyama vya kisiasa wakati wa zoezi ambalo msajili wa vyama Anderito anasema kuwa ni la majaribio. Hata hivyo wa Kenya waliojipata kwenye vyama ambavyo hawamo wametakiwa kufuata sheria kujiondoa kwenye vyama hivyo kama chemu taigoina na vitu arifu. Katiba inamruhusu Mkenya yeyote kujiunga na chama chochote cha kisiasa kwa hiari yake. Hii ni kwa mujibu wa kipengee cha 38. Hata hivyo, wakenya wengi wamelalamika baada ya kujipata kwenye sajili ya vyama ambavyo wameshikilia hawana uhusiano wote navyo. Wengi wao wakiwasilisha malalamishi yao katika mitandao ya kijamii wakitaka afisi ya msajili wa vyama kuondoa majina yao wakihofia kuwa stakabadhi zao zitatumika visivyo swali boka ikiwa vyama hivi vya kisiasa vilipataje majina na nambari ya usajili za waliosajiliwa sometimes actually i can say from my experience there are people who register in political parties and sometimes they forget they, they registered and manner in which they, they at what time they registered that because some of the parties are as old as 2005 Uh, and uh, th those data and uh, has been carried along all the way so it's possible for people to forget when you register so really you cannot say that parties obtain data prudently msajili huyo hata hivyo alisema orodha hiyo ilikuwa majaribio ya shughuli ya kuweka sajili ya wanachama wa vyama kwenye mitandao na kuwa malalamishi yatatiliwa maanani after the pilot that we are doing uh, we shall engage the political parties and uh, then uh, discuss on uh, some of the issues that Kenyans have raised and uh, create a way forward one of the major issues as we go towards election is to also continue cleaning the political parties register deritu akiwataka wale walilalamika kuhusu kusajiliwa kufuata mwongozo wa sheria kuondoa majina yao kwanza kabisa kuwasilisha notisi ya kujiuzulu kwa chama husika na kwa ofisi ya msajili mkuu hii ikiambatana na nakala ya kitambulisho au pasipoti ili shughuli ya kuondolewa ianze hata hivyo wakenya wamelalama kuwa sajili hiyo inafaa kuwa na njia rahisi ya kujiondoa kwani wengi wao hawakujisajili si mara ya kwanza kwa wakenya kulalamikia hili mwaka wa 2017 miezi chache kabla ya uchaguzi wa mwaka huo wengi pia walijipata kwenye sajili ya vyama ambavyo hawakuwa wamejisajili chemutai goindo ninga citizen